basically I wasn't doing enough so I wasn't able to do it hi guys today I want to share the journey of my art I want to show some previous work the main purpose of this video is to encourage people to know that we can learn everything show you my ugly past work how I wasn't able to get it I wasn't able to communicate and have my ideas like, till now I feel like I'm able to do that I just feel like I'm at this point this is my second last semester I have one more semester to go before I graduate and I just feel like I've learned so much and I just want to share with you guys so if you're interested in that keep watching I just want to thank my patreon for the support so if you're interested in my behind the scenes and interested in supporting me as an artist feel free to check out my patreon I sent out my art prints handwritten postcard every month for selected tiers I share all my assignments process like my feedback and what I'm learning in class very thoroughly in my patreon so check that out um, so I wrote down some notes in the beginning I kept going back to what I know comfort zone portrait studies paint from photos draw from life rendering in the academy our foundation year the first year we learned everything from analysis of form like to draw things to measure to learn about values to learn about colors technical skills we draw a lot from life um, figure drawing still life painting workshops cloth figure at that time i feel like i'm capable in copying reporting what i see i wasn't able to engage and open up my imagination I kept doing all these studies let me just show you this stuff are like in my second year the first year are really just foundation stuff i can put photos here there are a lot of like tight rendering like drawing from photos and things that i feel like wow i can do this but at the same time i don't feel like i'm putting my ideas in a piece we'll slowly get to it i just hope i can make this as organized as possible and you can understand what i'm saying academy they're really good before pandemic we have a lot of like in-person workshop so i will do this type type of things figure i was doing a lot of charcoal but these are some watercolor ones because i really like watercolor portrait like some clothes figure there these are really quick like 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes so i was doing a lot of figure study drawing from life like it's helpful to keep me practice but at the same time i wasn't really feeling that I'm pushing myself. I'm practicing, yes. I don't feel this is what I really want to work on, but I wasn't knowing how to like get to that point. Bear with me. So I did a lot of stuff like painting from photos. Like this is quite nice, but this is just a painting from a photo as well as these. I'm basically just like changing this painting and I just paint like entirely from photos and as well as this like maybe i have kind of do something with the character but i was also just painting from photo and this is a sketch from life a lot of portrait because that's what i was comfortable doing because that's what's like most taught to me did a lot of portrait like painting from photos from pinterest watercolor from life acrylic um, from Pinterest photo and master copy like Arjun study water from paint from photos paint from photos from life sketch master copy and then this is like a location sketching um, workshop these are quick too my real real struggle um, was up until like my clothes figure it's quite a struggle but the real real struggle was when i take this watercolor class for that class it's not only learning the technique but we also need to come up our own drawing and ideas and i really struggle i couldn't get any like other classes prior to that still life painting drawing i have something to refer to or like location sketch i am just drawing observing what i see but i wasn't able to just 
compose a piece from my head and like combining my imagination so that class I was really struggling the heck out of me and my work in that class was horrible so there are pieces like this like I was really thinking of having a figure but combined with the nature like plants but you know it's just not working and portrait I know I'm good at portrait so I just keep on wanting to do that and things like this like a character I was thinking of the Ghibli studio the cat really generic shape oh my goodness um, you know, I just wasn't able to and for a final, I did something like this this is just a comp I don't know where's the big piece they're just not good so I just didn't keep them we also need to do like acrylic and I painted this from photo again I just wasn't stylizing it I wasn't being in the piece and one more piece from my Studio 2 class this assignment we are doing honey I shrunk myself using that phrase to do something and I was just incorporating a photo and then like add something to it it's stiff it's just not something that I was proud of and also <laughs> the next struggle class was my character design class really my weak spot like I spent a whole day doing little work like I was I wasn't getting it basically I can show you some stuff like this we're doing pirates animal character I forgot how, how you call that amphibomo and this is uh we're doing like a 3d sculpture out of it female pirate there are way more but I couldn't find them <laughs> that's all I can find at this moment abstract painting so during the summer last semester basically I took abstract painting and it really really helped me open up and be able to let loose and be able to be in the painting I don't even know what I mean by like in the zone basically like in the painting when I'm composing and stuff I'm like I feel like I'm in the painting for the very first time I feel like I I had times but it wasn't I guess I just wasn't aware of. I started my art basically when I first got to this school so I wasn't the kid that draw since I was really young just put it into perspective basically I wasn't doing enough so I wasn't able to do it because I didn't have a lot of practice teaching method and my own way of doing things the way I like doing things that was like my character design class I have a certain way to teach but that's not necessarily the, the only way to do things like there are a lot of different ways to do things sometimes the way they teach you wasn't the way that it kind of like not the way that I'm comfortable doing it but it's always good to like be introduced the ideal or like the simplest way to structure something and once you learn that you can break it and that's art school <laughs> I think art school can definitely like fasten your speed and to hand do things without you like figuring out like um, for a long time. I've heard this phrase before, you can't teach art, like art can be taught. But I feel like the technical stuff you can definitely learn, but what you like to create and like your art, you definitely have to learn it on your own and just keep on trying and practicing and just figure out your voice. Like my character design class, we were doing like silhouette, exaggerating shape and I just wasn't very capable in the design shape and then like do things from there. I, the things that came out from that method, I wasn't happy with. But it's a way that kind of ensure that things will be nicer than it can be. Maybe that didn't work for me and that's okay. Um, the watercolor and then character design was really like a struggle phase for me and then in my advanced perspective class which was spring it really really just pushed me and opened me up to be able to do it started in this piece I just want to say that class was so amazing like the instructor Joko he really just gave us so many assignments like you learn by doing a lot besides perspective besides composing a picture I also learned digital painting and just so grateful
this piece was when I really feel like, oh, I can draw. I know how to draw. So we have like different themes every week. Samurai, Geisha, Egypt, Noah's Ark. And for Noah's Ark, we have three weeks in a row. The instructor was telling us that when you keep doing one idea for a long time, you get bored of that idea. So you will like kind of branch out. Like this is my Noah's Ark. So it's not really Noah's art, I just like she's drawing the art. So this is what he meant by you just want to do what you want to do then. You just get bored of that. And then this is also Noah's art. I just put like a little art in the shelf. So these two pieces, I really was like, wow, I get it. And like a good feeling to feel that I have that breakthrough. I struggle through it, you know, and after that whole perspective class, I really feel more confident. I, I have more control in what I want to do. Like I kind of go through that. And now I was thinking of I want distorted perspective or I want to stylize things. I also submitted in a children's book competition and for that project, I was really trying to do my own thing and like trying to develop my personal style basically and playing with different mediums and making it personal. I care more about it and I just can do better in it in a sense that it's my thing, I put the love in it and I want to make my own experience into my art. So having that connection and like that personal element in it really really helped to make it a look that I personally feel good about. Sometimes images come to me. This one was an idea that came to me. I just had that image, but most of the time, almost all the time, they don't. I feel like most of the time, for me personally, I have to squeeze everything out and to the end appreciate the end result. One of my instructors told me that I can be spontaneous, but I also have to be, I'm working on that. So I learn everything, then I want to break everything. Just let me do the way I want to do. Like I think art school, like they taught you all these helpful tools and it's up to you if you want to use it. It's such a great time on Instagram and like everywhere you can just see art and then figure out what you like and what you like about them. From doing that, you will have a sense of what drawn to you and you will just naturally go to that direction. It's a process. And I also learned this automatic drawing method. Art was never relaxing until I want to make it a relaxing thing. You just kind of let go and like not think and just kind of draw mindlessly. And I really love that feeling. And in my abstract class, I did some pieces and I got the feedback from my instructor saying that, wow, this piece, the background is really active. And then he recommended me to read, I, that's the way I see it by David Hockney. And just this abstraction school of thoughts, like department. The thing about being in the piece, like, it's more real than realism, as in like seeing it, it's a window. Being in the piece, it's you are inside. It's still pretty um, scattered, but if you get it, you get it, if you don't. And then you go back to your roots again. Like for me, once I break through and I'm able to do things that I want to do, I now think back, okay, why do I start doing art? Why do I want to do this? And what is what do I want to get out of this? this it's going to be my career for a really long time. What am I going for? What makes me fulfill? And for me, I want to have fun. I want to embrace myself. I want to be spontaneous. I like the energy and like there are a lot of artists that I love and after heavily consume a lot of different style and people and artists, I kind of know more about myself. A lot of times we learn we like something and take its form and like make it my own, if you know what I'm saying. I want to feel relaxed and fun while creating 
because I want the viewer to feel that. Sketchbook is really important. For me, I really want to be open. I want to be an artist that I know that I'm constantly pushing my comfort zone and constantly trying things and letting things come together. It's a love, passion, what it taught me and helped me to discover wonders. I discovered this passion following my curiosity and what it taught me and like kept me excited. It's something that I really am so grateful for and I just really want to encourage people and to talk about it, inspire people in some ways that it's not where you are from, it's more where you want to go. I came from a place that I couldn't compose an image. I feel like I have no imagination skills. I feel really not talented. I felt really good knowing that I don't have to be good at everything. Things require practice and as long as you have the drive, you compare yourself to yourself. Like what I'm doing now is to throw back and to reevaluate my past work and where I am now. I should be so, I'm so proud of myself to be able to do what I'm doing now. And it's so rewarding and always come back to the roots and like what matters to you most? What are you looking for in this thing that you're doing? And keep on working, keep on doing that. Try things out and see which stick. People think that um, we try things and then we give up, it's frowned upon, but you never know until you try it. Like I personally, from my experience, I think always go for the things that's difficult, that challenge you. You will overcome it and then you will discover another new land that you didn't even know. It's so crucial to keep trying things. And if it doesn't work for you, try something else. Like if you're in your 20s, that's the time for you to experiment. The earlier you try things out, the earlier you will find the things that stick and then you can start the journey of doing what you love and that takes enormous commitment, time, effort. Be open and willing to change if it doesn't serve you or bring you joy. You won't know until you try. Okay, that's it for this sharing. I just hope that if you want to be an artist, this is the time, the internet, everything. <laughs> it's a resource. No one should live a life that they're not happy about, not excited about. Everyone is here to contribute in some sense. Everyone is talented in a way that only you can decide for yourself. It takes work, but it's also really fulfilling. Yeah, do what you love, keep on doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.